powerful force, and so is your voice. Use the power of your words to protect our rivers. Connecticut River is an incredible recreational resource for the more than 12 million residents of the four watershed states. People come from hundreds of miles away to play in its waters, fishing, swimming, boating, hiking, and rejuvenating their souls. Large hydropower dams like those on the Connecticut River receive a license to operate from the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, or FERC. The license commits the company to operate responsibly in exchange for using our rivers to generate electricity. These licenses function as a contract between the company and the public. FERC licenses are in effect for 30 to 50 years, so we have a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to change the terms of this contract. The relicensing of the Wilder, Bellows Falls, Vernon, Turner's Falls dams, and the Northfield Mountain Pump Station on the Connecticut River in Vermont, New Hampshire, and Massachusetts began in 2012. As part of the relicensing for these facilities, the companies are required to support recreational opportunities in the hydro project areas. These facilities affect over 150 miles of river and occupy a prominent role in the life of the Connecticut River Valley in all three states. Currently, the two companies contribute only about 0.6 to 0.8% of their revenue to support recreation. That is far too little to give back to our local communities for the company's privilege to use this great river. Based on studies, surveys, and interviews done over the past several years, the recreational users of the river have indicated that they would like improvements to boat ramps and better options for camping along the river. New recreation management plans developed by the power companies should require a long-term vision that showcases recreational facilities and river access that everyone can enjoy. Many paddlers would like to be able to make multi-day trips or plan a through paddle of the whole river. Recreational users need to be able to easily portage around the dams without having to carry their boat and supplies long distances. You alright? Under the current license, if you were trying to paddle downriver around the Bellows Falls Dam, you would need to portage your canoe for almost a mile and a half. Ongoing support of the Connecticut River Paddlers Trail, which connects river users to access and camping areas, can be enhanced to include local amenities and businesses. Marketing the river as a regional recreational destination would increase the value of the recreational economy in Vermont, New Hampshire, and Massachusetts. Connecticut River Conservancy and the Appalachian Mountain Club have developed recreational recommendations for the hydro companies to implement to support the public good and provide access to our river.
These companies profit from our rivers. We need to hold them accountable in this new FERC license to support our local recreational economy. Often, during a relicensing process, a company will come in and for a short period of time they'll invest a lot of money to do some upgrades to recreational access. What we would really like to see is ongoing maintenance and uh, economic investment in the region over the course of the license. This is a 40 to 50 year license and we want the companies to support the recreation economy in the Connecticut River Valley during that whole period. The relicensing process is a public process, and it is important that FERC hear from all of us about how we want to access and play in our river over the next 50 years. Please help us in this effort to protect and enhance your river.